In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take your 1080p footage and scale it up nice and easily to 4K, and it's still going to look good. Check it out. Hey everybody, I'm Ant Pruitt. I hope y'all are doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. Right now, I am staring at two different cameras. This is a 4K camera. This is a 1080p camera. Both of them are totally fine, but you know what? Sometimes people want to see 4K footage. 4K in air quotes. And most of the time, I'm usually using my 1080p camera right here because it, it looks good. But I can easily scale this camera up to look like 4K inside of Premiere Pro because the artificial intelligence in it, AI, is actually pretty daggum good. Now, before we move into the tutorial, let me go ahead and give you a bit of a disclaimer. Yes, I am in my home studio. Yes, you do hear the air conditioner going. Why? Because it's 100 degrees outside and it's freaking hot in here. I love doing these videos. I love y'all, but I'm not going to do this without AC going. It is what it is. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and get rolling with the tutorial. So now, you get your footage shot, you're ready to go, and you're ready to dump it inside a Premiere Pro. So all you do is fire up Premiere Pro, create a new project, and now you wanna create a new sequence, but create a 4K sequence uh, or UHD, typically UHD. So create your sequence with the proper resolution and boom, you're good. Now, import your 1080p footage. Your 1080p footage is not gonna be as big as your 4K footage and it's totally fine. There's a story behind that. But now that you got your footage imported, drag that footage over to your timeline where your sequence is created for UHD 4K. When you get it into the timeline, Premiere Pro is gonna yell at you and say, hey, something is wrong with this footage. It's not the same format as my timeline. In this example, I'm using 1080p footage shot at 59.94 frames per second, 60 frames per second, essentially. But I want to use a 4K timeline at 30 frames per second or maybe 60 frames what have you either way it's still going to work because the ai is just going to figure it all out for us all right so just tell it to keep the existing settings on that warning and it's going to take you back to your main timeline screen now right click on your footage inside of the timeline select set to frame size and it's going to automatically scale up your footage to fit inside of your 4k timeline okay but there's some things you have to consider make sure you're doing some color color correcting and color grading to make it look good from a color standpoint but also hop on over inside of the creative tab inside of the lumetri panel and make sure you add at least 15 to 20 percent sharpening to your footage that way it's really going to look sharp and not going to look as fuzzy because you scaled it up all right now after that just go ahead and save the project, export the file uh, as 4K in the dialog box. It'll pull it up to say you want to set the export the same as the timeline or just select the actual resolution that you want. For YouTube, I typically like to tell it to use a higher bit rate, anywhere between 15 to 20 megabits per second, and then just hit go and boom, you're good to go. Now in this example right now, I'm looking at my 4K screen. It's gonna be a slightly different from the 1080p because I had to color correct it because the 4K was shot in log format. So I needed to add some color correcting and uh, fix it up and so forth. But for the most part, it should still look like this 1080p footage, even though my 1080p footage is now scaled up to match it out. All right, so that's how you do it inside of Premiere Pro. It's a pretty quick and easy tip. Um, you don't necessarily want to do this with 720p cameras, but if you have a 1080p camera, you can definitely scale it up to 1080 uh, to 4K footage or UHD without a problem, thanks to the good old AI inside of Premiere Pro. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to hit the share, the like, and subscribe button like all the other YouTubers say. Um, leave me a comment below if you have any feedback or questions. I try to answer those as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, just share this video out with everybody else looking for some tips for Premiere Pro. And until then, you all safely create and dominate. And I'll catch you next time. Peace out.